Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to explore the exciting world of AI workflows. So as uh, you have been watching my previous videos, I am more talking about the Power Platform and bridging the gap between AI. So with Power Platform, Power Apps or Power Automate, how we can connect to the AI world. So again, like today's video is one step ahead to take to talk about one more platform that allows us to build more smart AI workflows by using NA10. So NA10 is an open source uh, workflow automation tool that gives us more flexibility and control over the workflow customization. So unlike Power Platform, which is tightly integrated with the Microsoft services, NA10 let us uh, integrate over 500 plus apps with a full customization. And the important thing is like it comes with a self hostable capabilities where you can actually host the AI workflows on your on-premise. So if you are concerned about data privacy and take the advantage of the AI capabilities of LLM models, then you can go for NA10. So NA10 directly integrates within your AI workflows, like you can utilize the um, desired LLM models and also connect with open AI phase or other APIs like hugging phase. So I am on this NA10.io that is a official site of this NA10. You can Go through this site to learn more about like what capabilities NA10 provides and I will be like also talking about how NA10 AI workflows are game changer for any developer or any automation engineer who wants to like take one step forward towards AI journey. So that we are going to talk about and we are going to build a end-to-end -end workflow with AI. So where like Power Automate get a great uh, quick and low code flows while NA10 shines like when you have very big uh, custom logic and you want your AI agents to make a decision on the input or output provided by the users so that they can take they can call the other agents to perform the separate specific task so that then like this NA10 takes a lead on Power Automate because Power Automate for doing the same decisive stuff with the AI agents you have to like integrate with the copilot as a separate tool plus if you wish to like uh, take it more uh, forward with the Azure AI Foundry, then you have to have this deployment uh, enabled so that it can be leveraged into Power Automate. For that, I have already created multiple videos how you can uh, create Power Automate, which can talk to the Copilot agents plus this Azure Foundry LLM models. So you can watch those videos. I'll I'll put the link into the description so that you can directly follow those videos. So let's again like uh, get back to NA10 AI flows. So NA10 being open source, it can be more efficient, cost efficient when we want to like build more advanced AI workflows. So you can compare the costing uh, by this pricing tab. You can go over there and you can check like it comes with a $20 per month built annually. And uh, with a pro license where like you have 10K plus workflow execution. So and hosted, it's a cloud hosting uh, pricing you are looking at right now so with the self-hosting the pricing is somewhat different so if you click on the self-hosted you will see the annual price or the monthly price so that allows to like uh, give you more a range of the workflow executions so you can decide based on your requirement like uh, you can still go with the cloud one or self-hosted one based on your data privacy plus your pricing model you can decide but right now i'm using a, a 14 days trial is given to try the n8 and into the trial mode so i'm trying that you can also explore if it does helps you with the within your organization to build out the smart workflows and helps you in the journey of your ai automation stuff so let's get started with the actual tool so i am into this n8 and my environment that like once you set up your free trial then you will get you can sign in and once you sign in you can see overview like uh, the number of execution flows active flows inactive flows within your environment you have this admin panel where you can check the executions for your flows and costing as well then we have templates the similarly like templates we have in power automate we n8 and also gives a predefined templates which which can be like uh, used to start building out your workflows more importantly like we have this create workflow button which we are going to take a look in real time how we can actually build out any flows so once you click on this create workflow you land on the authoring tool that is a canvas where you can drag and drop your activity so you can start with at first step that is trigger so it's very much similar to any power automate trigger where you can decide this workflow should be triggered on what basis. So there is a huge set of triggers 
trigger manually app event on schedule web hook call on form submission and you can have this whatsapp integration also so we have a trigger in an a10 which can be connected with your meta services for business whatsapp business cloud so as soon as a message is received on your business whatsapp number then it will start behaving as an agent to reward your customers with the automated data that can be integrated with the ai stuff that we are going to take a look and one more flow like one more use case which i actually built out so this is my team's channel where like this is channel for my company and where i can actually ask some questions related to my stuff so as in consider yourself as a part of sales team where you have entire repository into let's say like in some external database and you wish to like have some questions you want to ask some questions on your data so you can build out that smart automation within your ms teams via this na10 platform with a trigger on the teams chat so you can that built out so i have in the demo we are going to take a look on that same use case and as i said like uh, we have multiple triggers so you can also integrate that with your whatsapp business cloud so right now i don't have any whatsapp business account so i would not take that use case but it's very easy to get that get through that whatsapp automation or chat assistant you can build out so for our demo i'm going to take an example of any chat messages arrives in our teams then this agent would smartly answer query based on the data provided via this n8 and workflow so to start with i will start with as trigger so in trigger we are going to choose that ms teams as trigger so you can see like uh, we have this multiple triggers on a new channel creation on new channel message new chat or a new team member so if you wish to like uh, send a welcome message to a new team member and provide all the set of knowledge documents then you can also like create this smart workflow like which will do the same stuff like providing the, all the information to the new team member or a new chat is arrived then you can reply smartly back with your responses for those chats so you can do that so i will click on this on new chat message so once you have this trigger in place you will see like you have this credentials to connect with microsoft team so you can provide your new client credential or if or the connection is already established then you can select the connection so if you click on this new credential it will ask to connect your account you will do a login then you can just do a connection success test so it connected with your account with this or two so once this is done then you can see like new chat messages and watch all chat messages whether like it comes from any channel or any individual one on chat so you can do that but we are specifically will be looking or pulling through only one of my team chat message that is into my this teams organization so i will just search for this one and i will say okay xmt one on one so any chat message would come might this trigger this ai workflow so as we have added this trigger i can drag this my desired place and so that i can have more place to put my other action so once we have this teams trigger in place i will just put one this uh, new autonomous agent to summarize search and document so you can actually take advantage of this ai agent so as soon as i clicked on it so what it says like source of prompt so it will take the input from my previous tab okay and that input would be passed as an user chat response and then once you do that you have these three options that chat model memory and tool so let me just close it so that you can better take a look on this so this ai agent needs three input from user that is one chat model because we are going to create a smart workflow with ai agent so we are going to click on this chat model and over here all the llm models listed would be coming over here so you can pick any of the model which you already have an account with for example i am going to choose this gemini model over here because this uh, this is free tiny model over here once you select then you can also change this model so specifically so model gemini 2.0 pro and 2.5 so right now is a tiny model so we'll just take advantage of this tiny model which is free and once you do that in second step you have to specify the memory so for memory what does that mean like it should context it should keep the context of how many conversations so and if you wish to like just have the context within this na10 which is sort of with limited memory then you can choose this na10 memory otherwise you want to store persist your chat contextual information for a longer term for example you are creating some 
sales agent or leads generation agent then you want your past customers data readily accessible to your agent so that agent can take a decision or reply based on those uh, historical information so you can keep any other database for a longer term memory but for our demo i'm just going to choose that simple memory and i can specify that context window so i will say okay 20 chats contextual window should be there and it will be tied up to my this session id so i am good with memory and the third part is important part like as i said like my this whatever queries i am asking on my teams my bot or this my agent ai agent workflow should able to answer those questions so over here i can specify the tools so you can see like we have multiple tools call n810 workflow tool so use another n810 workflow so you can call another workflow to make a call for example consider it as a main agent and then sub agents do some decisive work so one system let's say like one agent for your company and then you have sub agents for hr department it department so based on the given prompt given query you can decide or this agent will itself decide that which sub agent should be called so you can use these tools to make your agent or workflow more smart and we have multiple tools which can be connected so over here we have vector stores pinia storage other tools and in our case like we'll be actually reading the data from excel so i will just say okay microsoft excel again like do a new credential it will connect to your one drive and over here you can in the resource you can specify the workbook sheet or table and this once you select this workbook it will give you all the sheets inside that if you want to read the data and under it and select the table so that it can present the data into rows and it can do the summarization on that particular row data so from here you can specify the workbook so i will i can because it's already connected with my OneDrive, so it will list down all the files so i will say my this financial sample file sheet i can look from my this sheet so from list so it will give me this sheet one because it has only one sheet and the table i can specify from list it will give me my this table name again like the data which is there into my into my OneDrive sheet so if i go back to my this so over here this is my sheet which contains all the data it has this sheet one and the table name is financial table so once we set this we are good with our this tool and over here as i as i selected the gemini chat model so right now because i have already connected with it so that's why i did not ask anything otherwise like it will ask for this create new credential over here you can specify this host generative language model api is google.com and api key you have to log in with the gemini ai studio where you can generate a api key as it's free as it as i told you like you can utilize this 2.5 tiny model for your this n8 and demo so once you provide over there then you are good to go just use this llm as part of ai agent so once we set up all these things then what we want we wanted that AI agent should actually answer my queries based on my this tool provided which is an excel file and it should take a decision of making summarization or whatever extraction the calculation based on the prompt which is which i am mean passing as part of the team message and i wish to read the data as part of again teams message so i should get the data within the same window where i am asking questions so for example i ask this question and i wish to like have the answer within the same window then i will again go to my actions will search for teams actions and this time i will create this message and in the message you can specify the resource type so i will say chat message create a chat message from list i will specify the same chat message list which we have been doing it which have we have been working with and over here you see like i have this message so i need to connect the data from the input or the output of my previous ai agent stuff so i haven't executed anything into my previous step once i execute i will start getting all the variables in this window input window so let's start executing and meanwhile i will disconnect this branch so that it should not give me an error so i will start executing flow so this execute flow will trigger this trigger this n810 workflow and this trigger as i said like it's an input message 
into my this Teams channel. So I will just say I want summary of my financial info from sheet. So this message will trigger our this flow. So you see like uh, I got this green and as soon as it's triggered so I got no session ID found. So we have to configure the session ID. So over here so I will say define by below and in the key I will put this. So based on user ID or chat ID I have to have a one new session created. So over here we have this option of doing execute step which executes any action one by one. So in Power Automate we don't have this option but in any time we have options to individually execute any step. So I will just go back to our teams and I will just put a, this message again so that our trigger can run. So when I executed it individually now so I can see like I have this output I can append a rows to a table but the action does not take any parameter except the text whatever you provided. So this was the response from our AI agent. Now if we connect that to our this new chat then it will be passed on as a response to this. And now I can again execute it. So over here you can see like uh, the last execution of my agent give this output. So I will actually put this a output into my this message so that the message can be passed back to my this team's chat and then I save it and again like when we do a test run so I will, I will start execution from here from the in between and once this execution is done I get a response like I can append rows to a table but the action does not take any parameter accepted and the reason of this is because like in our tool in the update sheet we have selected something wrong which is which should be selected as get rows so that it can read out the rows. So over here the operation is selected as append which is incorrect. So I need to change that to get rows so that it can read the file. It can read the rows out of that Excel. So once I do that and now when I execute my workflow and then I will ask some query which should be like this uh, read my financial table and get me the top sales by region in month of June let's say. So if I click on this chat and then we'll wait for our execution to complete. So here I got my response for my financial data for month of June and I wanted top region so it gave me all the data all the answers based on my excel data provided so this was a simple use case like where actually i inquired some queries some questions about my data and i got the response and here you can very well see like how it, the execution works so if i run this execute steps you will see like it will process this google gemini chat model it will take in response from all the rows which we have provided from our ms365 excel and once it has it it will again pass the data back to Gemini model so that it can make a decision. So right now you can see like there is a looping between this AI agent and then once the response is ready then it pass to the next branch to produce as a chat into our MS Teams. So this was the basic one flow which workflow which we created to make it more smart with the data provided but there are many use cases where any time can be handy with the complex AI agent workflows where we want to make the decision with the autonom autonomous agents by themselves and complete our flow end to end. So this was a just a starting point. I just want to give you a brief about N8 and so that you can explore, you can try your use cases by yourself and can learn about this new tool which is there into the market and making a quite a buzz. So that was it for today's video. I will be taking like few more tools like uh, going forward in my next videos related to same AI smart workflows I, it could be flow wise agents like where we can take a demo of how we can create a flow wise agents so that is it for today's video thank you